transits. When theater companies change the language simply to say that this person identifies as male or female, that's how you invite actors with a diversity of gender to submit and come into your audition room. It's possibly life-changing for, it's a possibly life-changing thing for somebody to see an audition notice written like that. Changing the language is so important. I mean, how hard is it to offer a gender-neutral pronoun option on your audition form? I know that there's some arguments among, among scholars out there about what's actually correct. But bottom line, we as an industry have the power to change these things. When blending the approaches and talents of a gender transgressing performance world with traditional theater, the possibilities are myriad. We live in a time of shifting language and framework around gender. Let's welcome this opportunity break down barriers. Don, I think I have a role that I'd love to do. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs Johnny out. Blackout. Scene five, at Rise. Lipstick sits in front of the microphone, plugging the headphones in. Hi everyone, this is the Theatrical Mustang Podcast, episode 2042. I'm actually recording this intro from a spaceship. I'm sure you're all celebrating at home because we did it! We really did it! We have completely and eternally destroyed the gender binary. All the years of emotional labor, educating people, we didn't really feel like educating, meticulously taking stock of every new environment to see if we might safely fit into it. I mean, remember when every day felt like fighting a battle? When you had to go to war each day just to be yourself? I mean, now every role in every play ever written is open to all genders. <laughs> and, ah, uh, the Trans Actor Guild, thank you for your tireless work. <laughs> Emmett enters and unplugs the headphones. Stand up. We can't jump ahead just yet. It's not time. Come on, let's start your call oh, oh, training. Oh, Get ready. Oh, oh, oh. The slam of a shot against a wooden table. All cis rolls is seated, feet resting on the table, playing with a toy dagger, toothpick hanging from her mouth. She wears an impressive cowboy hat. <laughs> Rapidly changing music underscores the following scene. You should know better than to come around these parts. I've never been one to do what I'm told. <laughs> and you should get ready to have a deadly talking to. <laughs> well, you should know I'm dilingual. Talk! All cis rolls suddenly hop onto a red tricycle. <laughs>
pry the door to this industry open. On the other side of the door, there's just a guy, a cis white guy behind a curtain who I don't respect, who may never feel the need to change. So are, are, are my only options to play by his rules or exclusively make my own work for the rest of my career? Why are you still here? Because I fucking care. You, you just want someone else to do the heavy lifting. I'm so sick of trying to make theater, which is supposed to be my home, my church, my family, a place where I can feel safe again. We're in this together. You think it was easy finding you and having to put up with your shit? I never asked for this. <laughs> you said you wouldn't leave unless you helped me take off my shadow, but maybe being trans is the shadow. Maybe I don't need you or anyone else because no one will ever take me seriously anyway. There's no reason to keep fighting this hard. You're so fucking selfish. Tink reappears and lights his exit out. You're right, Tink. I should have listened to you. <coughs> Misha Caldwell, Sean Hake, Jamie Lee Wounded Arrow, Jojo Stryker, Tara Richmond, also known as Kiki Collier, China Gibson, Ciara McKelvey, Jaquarius Holland, Alfonza Watson, Che Reed, Kenneth Watswick, Cheryl Faulkner, Kenny McFadden, Kendra Marie Adams, Ava Lorraine Perrin, Ebony Morgan, Titi Dangerfield, J-Lo McClory, Guinevere River Song, Kiwi Herring, Kashmir Nibir Red, Derricka Banner, Scout Schultz, Ali Steinfeld, Stephanie Montez, Candace Towns, Brooklyn Brianna Stephenson, Brandy Seals. These are some of the trans lives we've lost to violence in the U.S. in 2017. Every year for the past five years has been the deadliest year for trans people. We have to fight them, and we have to tell their stories. We have to fight because we have no other choice. Our liberation is tied to each other's. The cathedral, cathedral scene is revisited. But this time, all cis roles is constantly yanking Emmett every time he tries to leave. Him plays softly. I feel more comfortable choreographing for girls than boys now. I went into the hardware store the other day to get keys made for my apartment. And the clerk gave me them back to me and said, here you go, sir. I had to crack her and say my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I prefer miss. I told the management of the store, and they kept asking me about more information about things to me. I choose to be an advocate, but I don't always have to, I don't have to put myself in a position to educate others all the time. Just once, just once I would like Go into a store and have the clerk ask, what are your pronouns? That would be, that would be. There are no words. The song of the roasted swan from Carmina Barana starts to play. Chrissy begins to dance. Woodzik steps in to tap out Emmett. This time, when all cis rolls yanks, Woodsick can get away. After a few bars, Woodsick gestures for all cis rolls. The dance builds until it is a beautiful duet. Two women dancing freely, wildly, without constraint, together, for the love of the dance.
near the end, Woodsick grabs a single rose and indicates to the audience members who have roses that they should get ready to throw them. The dance finishes and both Woodsick and all Cicerals gesture to the audience to throw roses at Chrissy's feet. <laughs> and cast perform the score together. 